What's going on everybody? This is Danny, Pokey Kazam, and we're back with 50 Hidden Fates Packs. Hopefully my dog doesn't interrupt me this time. Got five stacks of 10. I'm just gonna put these to the side and get right into it. Looking to pull, obviously, the Shining Charizard. <clears throat> but I know you get a Shining card in pretty much like one out of every two or three packs. This Umbreon GX. Um, shiny Charmander, Shiny Chameleon. Let's see. I'll do the card trick for the first couple of cards, but then I'm just really gonna rip through the packs because I, I don't want this to be a super long video. And look at that, Paris back to back. Charmander, Slowpoke, Psyduck. Reverse, nothing. You know what, I don't think I'm gonna do the card trick at all because that's just gonna take way too long <laughs> for 50 packs. Just rip, see what we get. I just sent out a huge PSA submission. All the fossil cards I pu pulled. <clears throat> if you guys haven't seen my videos, I did a first edition fossil box. Oh, here's a Sylveon GX. Nice pull right away. Go Fable. I did a first edition fossil opening. I pulled the Dragonite. You should go check it out. Don't want to ruin my other pulls if you guys want to go. Take a look. I would appreciate it. If you guys liked and subscribed. Oh, <laughs> guys i'm really trying to learn the camera work here and obviously i'm still new to all this <laughs> i don't know how some of these guys go through this so quick i also did jim hero's opening let me know what you guys want to see next because i have other wizards of the coast booster boxes and I'm definitely, I have loose packs. I have a lot of base loose packs. I actually have like 27 right now, I think, that I'm willing, ooh, shiny Magneton, that I'm willing to open. Wonder how many shinies we could pull out of 50 packs. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna guess 17. <laughs> I haven't really opened up any of the new sets. Um, I'm definitely uh, more of a vintage guy myself, but Hidden Fates has pretty much a majority of the original Pokemon, which I like. And um, but it's always fun to open those and it's getting expensive to open the original cards. <laughs> well, here's another. Glaceon GX, shiny, full art. Nice, not bad for to start, right? I think it's pretty good. So you guys could see that you can get some pretty nice pulls in this, these packs. Centering's a little off left to right. You could see the black border is closer to the left than the right. Still a really nice pull, but that's, that's pretty good for a first ball pack. What are you, five or six packs in? I'm gonna show the code cards for everything. I really, I never played the uh, TCG online game, but I know a lot of people love seeing those code cards. And you could actually, you could even, you could sell those cards for, I you know people buy the cards individually. I mean, well, like bulk lots on eBay. Destiny James Reverse, Labras. I got, if you guys are wondering, I got all 50 of these packs from Tins. I actually got a really good deal. I met up with some guy in Manhattan, actually, for a couple cases. I picked up five cases for what I thought was a good price. <laughs> Swablu, and, oh, a Charizard GX and a Swablu, look at this. It's a nice pack. I actually I haven't pulled this Charizard GX yet. 
I want to collect all 94 of these shinies. <laughs> I pulled the uh, the Charizard actually in my like second tin I ever opened. The first tin it was pretty crazy. This is too similar to the uh, Charizard that you get in this tin, which um, I'm just gonna oh, I'll leave this right here. Which I'm not really a fan of, to be honest. I don't like when they put the Charizards as the, uh, the promo card. I feel like Charizard should be harder to get. Hold the reverse, some legs. I like the artwork on these packs also. The Mew, the Mewtwo, the Legendary Birds is really cool. We got a Psychic Energy Reverse and uh, how was that those? I'm thinking about doing a Team Rocket booster box next. Well, try to get my hand on some heavy packs. Booster box is pushing like 15K right now. Although, I gotta double check. I think I have an unlimited box. I would prefer to do this on live stream, but I think you need to have Clavable Reverse. Is that the rare? Eric's hospitality. I think you need to have like a thousand subscribers or something insane like that. So if you guys could like and subscribe, I would love to do that soon. I don't know how soon I could get to a thousand subscribers, but hey, you never know. And my reverse, so like right. So we started off hot and slowed down. Oh, it's back. Definitely better sealed than uh, some of the older ones. <laughs> If you guys watch one of my videos, the glue was like coming off. It was actually, I pulled the Chansey Reverse. It's a mess. I pulled um, the first edition Dragonite out of a pack that was, the glue was wearing off. So it wasn't resealed, it was just from age that it was opening up on its own. Eat hollow. Oh, crazy if I pull another. Shining Charizard. <laughs> Ooh, a Lolan Vulpix. And a Mewtwo GX. Not bad. So that is our fifth Shining. We are about a quarter of the way through. So the rate, I'm gonna put the GXs to the side. Leave the Shinies in the background. So the rate we're getting them is about one in every three. Someone could let me know down below in the comments what the rate is for the Shinings. I'm not sure, but there are 94 Shinings in the set. So getting the one you want is definitely going to be difficult. New Reverse. Let's go. And look at that. Back to back. That's like the third time that happened. We've had a Reverse card and the, the same card following it. Sorry if you guys hear my chair rocking and squeaking. Oh, you're very sensitive. I'm gonna actually swap chairs. Hold on a second. I'm gonna take a pulse on that big boy. Oh, okay. I've never opened up this many packs at once, so it's actually a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Wolf Overgars, those analysis. Let me know what you guys also do with your bulk because I am sitting on thousands of cards right now. I do not know what to do with them. <laughs> Shiny Magnemite and a Gyarados GX. So we got the Evolution line. Magnemite, Magneton. Reverse Butterfree, Small X. I'm going to slow down these next couple packs so we could take a look at some of these comments. I really like the artwork in this set in general. It looks a little animated to me, some of the characters. I think that's obviously on purpose. But we got Caterpie, Eevee, Ekans, Charmander, 
Psyduck. Shiny Dartrix. I'd be lying if I even told you if I knew who this was. <laughs> and a Mew. But, another Shiny. It's like an owl type. Not bad. We are up to seven. Ten more to go in about 25 or so packs. So we're actually doing better than I expected. Shiny Gibble, back to back shinies. Butterfree Rare. Gonna run out of space back here. Start to just put them on the bottom. You need to get a bigger desk. I want to get the front facing camera. I already told you this, guys. For my next video, I'm definitely going to have that set up. You know, it's more personable. You guys can see what I look like. Keep you interested. I think cover art wise, I think this one's my favorite. But you, you guys see what I mean by that? They're kind of cartoony. Still cool nonetheless. Wiggly Tough GX. Just double checking if that was a hollow. Mewtwo GX again. If it's any GXs, I'll take Mewtwo or Char Charizard. <laughs> Still no Charizard though. Shiny Charizard. I'll be happy with anyone from the Evolution line. Shiny Frog Deer. And a Hollow Eevee. These packs are probably going for around $10 each right now, but the rate that you get a shiny makes it worth it. Stormy GX. That's that those still feeling. All right, so we slowed down significantly. We got two full art shinies and we haven't gotten one since. Magnemite shiny again. I'll take it. I also need to get a new light. I know people use the ring lights. I'm not really tech savvy. So I just yeah, I have my, my iPhone on a stand right now. Come on. I don't know how PokeRev does it. I've watched his videos and he opens like thousands of packs a day. Insane. Shout out to him though. What he's doing. It's awesome. Hope to get that big one day. something here. Electrode Full Art GX. Hmm, stick that right back there. Guys, let me know what your favorite modern set is in the comments down below. Oh, look at that, a gold card. Tapu Bulu GX Full Art. I'm a fan of these gold cards. I mean, I know it's not what everybody's looking for in these sets, but I think they're a nice touch. Also, we got the 25th anniversary of Pokemon coming up. Pikachu Reverse, Ooh, I'll take that. Stick that to the side. It might be my first Pikachu reserve, reserve, reverse from the invade. Yeah, anyway, I was saying with the 25th anniversary coming up, I wonder what kind of um, 
they're gonna come pseudo voodoo shiny if they're gonna come out with a set like generations or evolutions to commemorate the anniversary i oops i love when they um when they play on the original style i loved evolutions honestly but i feel like everybody's seen so many of that i have a couple boxes let me know if you guys want me to open those the the charizard and the reverse hollow charizard go for an insane amount right now because they're so hard to grade i don't know why psa is so strict on grading those meanwhile when you look at the 1999 base set they're handing out nines like like it's nothing i think they're up to over nine thousand nines <laughs> I, hand, I actually opened up a pack from base set, fresh. Sent the Charizard for grading, nine. I thought it had a really good chance at a 10. I actually have a PSA 10, which I'm very grateful for. I bought a pack like six years ago for only like $5 at the time. Maybe, no, I'm lying. It was a little more, but pulled the Charizard, sent it out for grading, came back a 10. At the time, I didn't think it was I didn't think much of it. Rock Rough Shining. What are we up to here? Losing count. Losing space. Losing energy. Full art, ah, oh, but a GX, wiggly tough. Running out of chances here. I think we only got eight packs left. No shiny Charizard, no shiny Charmander, and no shiny Charmeleon yet. I have a feeling I'm gonna pull something good in these last packs. Staka Taka GX Staka Taka Staka Taka I don't know how you pronounce it It's a really cool card though Reminds me of that game where you press the button And the <laughs> you gotta stack the bricks to the top Which is clearly Oh look, and a Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno GX The game is clearly rigged I don't think I've ever seen anybody get to the top of that game <laughs> I'm gonna just start double stacking these guys. And then there are four. Come on. Does he drink hollow? Two more packs. Oh. And then there was one. Mewtwo art. I'm gonna do the card trick for this one. We gotta save it. If you guys stuck with me, I really appreciate it. It's over a 20 minute video. My longest yet. But bear with me, I was trying to go quick. Let's pull it from the back. Fighting Energy, Pokemon Center Lady, Scyther, Magmar, Magikarp, Slowpoke, Clefairy, Coughing, Voltorb, oh, Reverse Chansey again, and Mr. Mime. Well, let's count up how many Shinies we got. This just gives you a perspective of how hard it is to get the cards that you guys want. I said like four or five cards that I want, and I didn't get any of them. So we got a Rock Rough, Gibble, Sudabudu, Tapu Bulu, GX, Magnemite, Frogadier, Dartrix, Stackataka, Stakataka. Magmite again, Alone in Vulpix, Swablu, Glaceon GX, Full Art. I think that was our best pull. Magnemite, 
no, Magneton, I'm sorry, Sylveon, or maybe, maybe this was, and Electrode, so we got three full arts. And that's that. Stay tuned, like and subscribe to the channel, guys. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Oh, sorry, my back is hurting from sitting in this chair. Oh, God. All right, I'll be back with more vintage Pokemon openings. See, you, oh, this isn't vintage, but you know what? Next time I'll do a vintage video. Peace.